Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. In this video, we're gonna talk about 10 photo trends that I'm seeing happening a lot in 2019. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm JT, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you forget it. And in this video, we're gonna talk about all the photo trends that I'm seeing happen a lot on Instagram and Twitter and all of these photo sharing social media websites because there are some hardcore popular trends that a lot of photographers are trying out. In this video, we're gonna identify the top 10. So the first trend that I'm seeing a lot in photography is this dark and moody trend. If you search for dark and moody, you're gonna find a whole bunch of stuff. I've even done video tutorials on what I think is dark and moody. I'll link to those down in the description and in the video. But dark and moody is just kind of something that isn't really defined. It has a different definition for everyone and everyone kind of interprets dark and moody in their own kind of way and I think that's kind of neat. But a big thing of 2019 and it's kind of rolling over from 2018 is this whole dark and moody look. And personally, I really like a lot of the photos that are coming out of this trend. The second trend that I'm seeing all over the place this year are photo hacks. Everybody wants photo hacks. And a hack is essentially an unconventional or not necessarily a popular way of solving a problem. And as you know, this channel is dedicated to photography tips, tricks, and hacks. So that's something I'm all over too. It's something I wanna focus more on and make sure if you're into photo tips, tricks, and hacks that you make sure you subscribe to this channel because that's what we're all about. But everyone's trying to do these 90 second 10 photo hacks and it's kinda of cool. They're little helpful things that can solve a problem in a different kind of way that not everyone is thinking about. And hacks are just neat little things to keep in your back pocket, little things that you can throw behind your lens, in front of your lens, little tricks and techniques that you can do. And photography hacks are just a cool little trend of 2019. Nostalgia. This is a huge one. And this is one of my favorite trends. You see a lot of photographers doing these purpley and blue colors trying to emulate looks from the 80s doing Blade Runner vibes and people trying to recreate 90s styles and I absolutely love that. I'm a sucker for the 90s. If I could get in a time machine and go back to the 90s, I would in a heartbeat. But I absolutely love this trend of people trying to recreate feels and vibes from the 80s and 90s and that's definitely something you should give a try if you haven't yet and you could just see what kind of era to recreate in your photos and that's a fun trend of 2019. The fourth trend that I'm seeing happening a lot especially on Instagram is urban exploration or urbex or climbing Everyone likes to climb things. Everyone loves these photos, especially of New York City looking straight down after someone climbed all the way to the top of the building. If you're gonna try that, I'm not condoning that at all, and I'm absolving myself of all legal consequences of you going and getting arrested if you do try to trespass on someone's property. Again, not telling you to do that at all. That's just kind of a cool trend that's happening a lot right now, especially people doing HDR, high dynamic range photos, where you take a bunch of different exposures and you merge them together in Photoshop or Lightroom. That's a really neat trend. These high detailed, cool dynamic lit images of grungy places or places that a normal person wouldn't be able to get to, like a construction crane, is a really cool trend of 2019. Film. Super simple, but a lot of people are going back to the basics this year. A lot of people are picking up old cameras from yard sales. I personally just picked up a new film camera about a year ago, and I haven't had that much opportunity to shoot with it, but I will be shooting with that and taking you guys through the whole film process eventually, probably in fall when the colors are starting to look really awesome out here in Colorado. And film is just a great way, like I said, to go back to the basics, really learn what it's like to be limited to exposure so that you're putting a good amount of effort and you're really intentional with every single frame that you make and you're really worried about exposure, compositional techniques, and it just, it makes you appreciate photography so much more when you're shooting film. So give it a try. Trend number six that I'm seeing a lot in 2019 is presets and 
That includes LUTs and anything that you're going to throw on your photo to try and make it look better or have a particular style. I think this year presets and people improperly using presets is a big thing and a big thing I want to caution you to avoid. Be careful if you're buying presets from just anyone. Make sure that the individual you're buying your presets from is a reputable source. Make sure you've seen their work and make sure you've seen these presets on other photos before you go ahead and buy them or download them because people are really taking advantage of photographers these days with LUTs and presets and Lightroom presets, Photoshop presets, filters, all that stuff. Just be very careful. Make sure you do your research. Uh, test out their presets, make sure you like them. Be careful if you're getting a preset from someone that's not even a photographer and just doing it to make money, but that is a big trend right now in 2019 is presets. Another big trend of 2019, and this was also a pretty big trend of 2018, it's kind of rolled over, is pictures of cameras and camera gear. Now, these can be really awesome to really bad, depending on where you see these photos at, of cameras but it's kind of a cool trend if you can get a great photo of your camera gear that's something awesome that you have as you update your cameras you have this kind of record of all of the gear that you've shot with and i think that's kind of cool and it's neat as long as you're not you know in the bathroom taking pictures of yourself with your camera that's that's kind of weird but anyway pictures of camera gear is a pretty big trend that's happening in 2019 so give it a try now i call this trend the mysterious photographer, and I'm not a huge fan of it myself, but it was a huge 2018 trend, and it's really big right now still in 2019. And again, I call it the mysterious photographer, and that's usually a photographer, and I'm sure you've seen this photo everywhere. Everyone has tried this at least once, and that's usually a photographer walking down a city street, and they're wearing a black hat and a mask and a black jacket and black pants, and they're just a silhouette of someone you know crouched down taking a photo or someone just standing in the middle of a busy street holding their camera by its camera strap and again i'm not a huge fan of this trend but it is very popular it's a trend that's going strong and give it a try if you want to maybe you can do something with it a little more original but what i've seen is just kind of getting old and it's not that interesting but it is certainly a trend of 2019. trend number nine of 2019 is teal and orange. I see this trend all the time with Amazon influencers because it's mostly a preset that people like to download and slap on all of their photos to make their Instagram look consistent. And that is teal and orange. You know it, you've seen it, I know you've seen it all over Instagram, especially with influencers. You'll see some girl running down the beach in denim overalls and a white shirt and the blue is going to be kind of faded blue and everything else is going to be a warm orangey look that's also faded it's a cool look when done right and when done properly give it a try i'm actually working on an orange and teal preset pack myself and don't worry i'm doing it right i know what i'm doing so you don't have to worry there but orange and teal is a huge trend of 2019 and sometimes i just wish it would die because not everybody's doing it right but when you see it done right it looks great so give orange and teal a try or don't but it's a trend of 2019. so the last trend on this list of 2019 photography trends number 10 is bokeh and reflections we've all seen those instagram accounts they're usually big hub accounts that are run by four or five people that have like 100,000 likes or 100,000 followers. And they deal with just like bokeh and reflections and some tiny little piece of a sewer cap that's wet from the rain is gonna be in focus and everything else is gonna be bokeh in the background. And the subject isn't really that one thing in focus. The subject of the photo is really just the bokeh or the reflection. And they're just kind of interesting looking shots in my opinion also in my opinion they're really low effort and it really didn't take much effort to run around and take out of focus photos of lights but that is certainly a trend of 2019 it was also pretty big in 2018 so give all these trends a try maybe you'll end up getting liked or a feature by some big instagram page if that's what you're into but that is the end of this list if you like this list hit that like button make sure you subscribe for more of my running gun tip trick and hack videos 
That's all for this week, guys. I will see you guys next week. And until next time, get out and go shoot.